Hello everyone. In today's video, you will be learning about climate, vegetation and wildlife of South America. Let's see which are the different climatic regions of South America. So we have nine uh, climatic regions of South America, equatorial type of climate, tropical grasslands, which are known as savanna, uh, type of climate, tropical type of climate, tropical desert type of climate, Mediterranean type of climate, British which is also known as maritime type of climate, temperate grassland type of climate, which is also known as pampas, and temperate desert type of climate, include, and along with that, mountain type of climate. Let's take the first one, equatorial type of climate. It is found near the equator and south of it. This region is always hot and wet. Hot means uh, it is experiencing extreme heat during the day and in the by the evening it starts raining every day in this region that, that is why there are no seasonal changes are experienced in this region all the seasons uh, they experience the same uh, kind of climatic condition and here the range of temperature is very very low range of temperature means the difference between highest uh, temperature recorded uh, during the day and night lowest temperature which is recording during the night there is not much temperature differences in this region amazon and orinoco basin they are covered with selvas which are the rainforest and these rainforest selvas are largest in the world they are very similar to the congo basin in africa the next one sorry it, let's continue Equatorial rainforests have dense and dark forests which is forming a canopy right and because of which the light does not reach till the ground of the forest. These forests are evergreen uh, forests because they, the trees in this forest they never shed their leaves in a particular region uh, sorry particular season. These forests have hardwood trees like rubber, mahogany, ebony, logwood, Brazilian nuts and chicken. tropical grasslands, savannas. They are known as lanos in Guiana Highland and Campos in Brazilian Highland. They are less extensive compared to African rain, uh, African uh, grasslands, savannas. Here the summers are very very hot and, and humid. Humid means in summer this region receives the rainfall and winters are cool and dry. These, uh, this region is covered with tall coarse grasses and the animals which are found here the, uh, in which the three banded armadillos are the very famous animals found in this region. Tropical type of climate. It is very similar to monsoon climate and modified form of savanna. Summers are hot and humid and in summers the rainfall is brought by the trade winds. Winters are cool and dry. Vegetation here the tropical deciduous forests are found. Deciduous forest means the trees they shade uh, their leaves in a particular season. South Brazil decorative and economically important trees are found in this region. Pirhana, pine, sisal plants these are the most famous uh, vegetation found here grown here and animals which are famous here tap tapir and pecari tropical deserts here the summers are hot and winters are cool atacama desert which is spread in the southern part of peru and the northern part of child it's a rain shadow desert why it is uh, rain shadow desert as the trade wind blows from the eastern part right by the time they reach to this uh, region they are completely moisturless because of which dry conditions are developed and second reason behind it is cool peruvian current which is passing from this margin they don't have any capacity to hold moisture 
so the winds are cooler and drier in this region they bring no rain for turning this region into a desert region summers are hot and winters are cool this is atacama desert is the driest place in the world because it does not receive any rainfall at all almost here no vegetations are uh, a vegetation is found except we find some scrubs prickly pear cactus and geckos and iguana are the important animals major uh, famous uh, animals found here mediterranean climate south of atacama this is located here central chai right south of atacama in central chai part of region where in this mediterranean region summers are hot and dry dry means in summer they do uh, this region does not receive any rainfall actually all the climatic regions receives the summer rainfall or snowfall only this mediterranean region receives rainfall in winter season why because it is located in the region of westerly wind belt which are much more powerful in the winter season and then and they carry moisture with them vegetation here due to dry summers they have adopted to withstand hot summers hot and dry summers that's why they have long roots waxy leaves and thick and spongy bark which can store water in them some thorny uh, shrubs cactus are also found over here but they are located they are found more, mostly in the drier north evergreen evergreen laurel acacia and fruits are found in the wetter south region which receives some rainfall much vegetation is not found here because most part of the land is clear for agricultural activities and hence this part is this part is having less wildlife present in this region british or maritime climate which is found in central chai sorry south chai summers and winters are mild and wet in both the season this re, uh, region receives the uh, rainfall it has mixed evergreen and deciduous forest uh, forests found here here less wildlife is present because most of the land is used for different human activities hence they are cleared hence the forests are cleared temperate grasslands which are also known as pampas north east argentina and uruguay here we find this region the summers are warm with the moderate rainfall it has always experienced moderating influence of sea which moderates the climate and due to the tapering shape of the continent continent shrink starts shrinking in the southern part of the land so uh, tapering shape of the continent uh, more of uh, in sea influence ocean influence is felt in this region this region has uh, short grasses available animals like rhea pampas deer jaguar guanaco these all are found in this region grand chaco south of amazon rain forest it is the mixture of dry and subtropical forest and open areas swamps all these different types of vegetation is found in this grand chaco it experiences extreme temperature because this place is located away from the sea so moderating influence of the sea is not experienced in this region jaguar tapir ant eater pecare and variety of uh, birds plus reptiles are also found in this region temperate deserts south of pampas till tierra del fuego islands is a barren plateau of patagonian desert so rain uh, this temp this is as it is located in the temperate zone below the tropic of capricorn hence it is known as temperate desert it is the uh, located in the rain shadow region of westerly wind belt here the 
Andes mountain blocks the westerlies influencing this region so it is turned into the rain shadow uh, region but the temperatures are cooler over here at is as it is located very close to circles antarctic circles the summers are ho hot and uh, winters are cold it is the barren and wind swept uh, uh, land region which is having sparse vegetation the vegetation found here is very very little and it, this region is very very windy it has coarse grasses and bushes rodents like mara and viscacha are found here mountain type of climate it is uh, especially on andes mountains uh, found uh, the temperature changes as per the altitude we know that mountain vegetation changes as per the altitude of the mountain it is uh, trade winds this region is swept with trade winds so which brings heavy rainfall in the eastern margins of the andes eastern margins of andes and vegetation is compared to the eastern margin of uh, andes is lower in the eastern slopes uh, the tropical forests are found over here in the eastern slopes of uh, andes western slopes of uh, the andes they are less denser than the eastern forest eastern forest receives more rainfall due to the trade winds and western slopes do not receive much rainfall so the less denser forests are found in the western slopes southern slopes of andes they range from the deciduous forest to conifers forest so this was the last video related to south uh, america climate and vegetation hope you have learned many things from the videos uh, of south america stay tuned stay connected bye bye